Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Wonderful scenes here in the Dutch capital inside this terrific arena. One that does more than justice to the stature of the man whose name it bears. And so we stand for the anthems. high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. There's the whistle. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Isco. He's the one with the magic feet, Peter. He's the kind of player who can change a game with a single touch. Unlock. He's had a goal! And he's there to clear it. And it's Jorginho. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Good challenge, he just stood firm. A Serbi does well there, alert. Breaks on here. The referee's awarded a free kick. Rodrigo. Insigne plays it forward. He goes long. Chiesa. Immobile! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Immobile sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Morata Rodrigo looking to get on the end of this Donnarumma will lay claim to that Florenzi good ball He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Great run on the overlap here. Florenzi. And that's one way to annoy his teammates. Spain are working the ball as only they can. Yeah, Peter, and it's a style that requires players of high-caliber technique to move the ball about quickly in tight areas. Ball's out on the left now. And it's Thiago.
Now it's Immobile. Thiago. And here's Morata. So it is still nil-nil. Played out to the right. Thiago. Chance to shoot. Oh, it's a foul there right on the edge of the box. And the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. to get it away and for a throw in by Rodrigo Dora Roma catches it safely Chiesa drives it forward and this is gone presumably for offside De Gea gets it upfield. Florenzi gets it back. Thiago. Hoists it forward. Chiesa. Spinazzola drives it forward. And it's Insignia. Berati is onto it and can take it up. It's come loose. Thiago, and it's played forward. It could be in here. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Chip through. Chiesa needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Forward it goes. Florenzi. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Italy will probably be feeling a, a little aggrieved about not capitalising on such a bright start. Their mood at half-time should be more upbeat. The glass remains half-full and it should spur them on. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. And the game has already resumed here. Italy playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline converting chances would make a world of difference for them there's a long ball shoots Immobile looking sharp there Isco Gaia Rodrigo pushes to get on the end of it. Spain are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Spinazzola. Jorginho. 
Marco Verratti. Spinazzola. He's thrust his way through. Verratti. It's Verratti! He's missed, but not by that far. Marco Verratti clearly became one-eyed then. He just decided to force it. And it's Pablo Sarabia. Spain have a free kick. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Saul. And here's Morata. Plays it out to the wing. Now it's Insigne. Hit into the mid. Massive leap! Thought well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. And it's Morata. Gorgeous control there. Shapes to shoot! It's broken loose. Out of play for a goal kick. Spinazzola, it's a good run down the left-hand side. He's got options out wide. Lorenzo Insigne, Insigne to towering header. Another chance. He's pulled off a fine save. Lorenzo Insigne simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. And here's Morata. Morata! Straight at the keeper. Look, that makes it easier for the keeper when he doesn't even have to move his feet. Insigne tries to get it forward quickly. Immobile. Time to deliver. Spinazzola gets it into the middle. Italy really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. A real chance to break. Out to the right. Pablo Sarabia. He's left his man. Saul pumps it into the area. Spinazzola attempts a clearance. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. More than happy to take the muscular approach. And here's Morata. It's Morata! Same again, same outcome. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Spain can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Verratti. Verratti going full tilt down the left. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Isco goes looking. A Serbi does well to read it and intercepts. A Serbi goes back to base. Oh, 
Brought forward. What does he try from here? Danucci. Acerbi. Spinazzola. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. Two minutes to be added on. Spinazzola is charging up on the overlap. It's a brilliant interception. So nothing between them in 90 minutes and we are in for extra time. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been vibrant, I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant and we just need the scoreline to, to step into line. So a brief breather and then extra time. <laughs> so our quest to find the winner continues. Thiago Gaia Martinez Chiesa He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away Jose Gaia drives it forward Now it's Morata and here's Pablo Sarabia, and the shot! Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Danucci battles to win it back. Spinazzola is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Well, he's pretty much been a crossing machine, and they're now trying to unplug that. Florenzi plays it forward. What an adventurous run from a defender. Great leap! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Danucci. Chiesa. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Well, to be honest, I think they're all showing no substance. Where's the final product? They've reached the midway point in extra time. Yeah, it's still bonus, but will it be a refereeing decision? A mistake or a moment of magic now that makes all the difference? Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? It's been cagey for this long. Will the last 15 minutes be any different? Jose Gaia goes to the cross. Loose ball. Morata! That's a half decent try. Morata, just denied by a lick of paint. We're talking centimetres. <laughs> there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. Just brushed off the ball there. Insigne with a long pass. He's found his man. Going through. Big chance! One on one! Italy clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. Spinazzola has come steaming up from the back for this. 
Loose ball, who's going to get there? There are a few waiting for it. It's a fabulous position. Acerbi. Spinazzola. Lorenzo Insigne. It has gone through to him. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Hoists it forward. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Your reflections then, Jim? Yeah, this looked the most likely outcome, but we've had a, a good variety in this game, despite it being anticlimactic. And that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us.